Good evening, I am Dr. Oculus, and today we are going to look at something that may help you guys. For example, maybe at Christmas you got yourself a shiny new HMD. Or maybe like me, you already own one and you've got another one. And that leaves you with a problem because you only have one face. And so what do you do with this one while you're using the other one? And that is where this product comes in. It's the Venom VR Stand and Organizer for use with PSVR, Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. Some assembly is required. So this product here, as you can see previously assembled, comes in a couple of different parts. It has this, the base that you wind your cable around, this handy tray for your HMD to sit on, the base and the arm. The arm slots together with two pieces in the top, and then you are basically ready to rumble. Everything just sort of clips together, there's no screws or glue, it just fits like so. The product comes in a fancy black design, and aesthetically, when a HMD is not sat on there, it's not most aesthetically pleasing. There are much better ones out there that you can look at and see, but this one is cheap definitely cheap compared to some of the other ones this one was purchased from amazon i believe for 15 great british pounds now the headset mount itself it's not pretty but it has one job and that is to mount a head mounted display hmd oculus psvr whatever you're doing so this particular hmd mount says that it works with the oculus rift the psvr and the htc vive now i'm unable to test the htc vive compatibility as i don't have an htc vive what i do have here is an oculus rift now when you mount the oculus rift on the stand itself it does sit there mostly comfortably the display is away from the lenses but in order to use this back part you have to stretch the straps out to a length that I find uncomfortable. Now, anybody who's got an Oculus Rift may have heard of the whole right ear audio issue that I believe comes from overextending the straps on the Oculus Rift. See, I have quite a large head, so when you look at this, the, the straps themselves, it's kind of um, bowed out. That's allowing me to stretch it over my face. So, to overstretch the strap while mounting the display is somewhat worrying. So, for the Oculus Rift, I honestly don't really want to use it that much. But then, again, it is also compatible with the PSVR. And that is, to me, where things take a massive turn for the worse. So, the PSVR. This is a relatively cheap headset as far as they go and it's got this fancy tray on the bottom to hold the headset but in order to set the headset onto that tray you have to once again extend the strap and set it down but doing that puts these arms frightfully close to the lenses so much so that i am not going to let go of the headset while placing it on there. The last thing you want to do is get one of these things that is going to butcher your lenses, make the headset completely unusable. So, for me, it doesn't work for the PSVR. Maybe I'm doing things wrong. I mean, I did find that if I just rested the headset on the tray and then popped the strap rested over the holder, that is fine. It keeps it away from the lenses, but then it's not very secure, and a slight knot could easily put it in the floor. Now there is one headset that's not listed on there that I do want to try and I haven't tried this yet. So yes, I have a third unlisted headset. This headset is one that could definitely benefit or it wouldn't use the cable mount unless of course you wanted to store your charger with it. But this headset is the Oculus Go. And the Oculus Go, this is like I say a first for me. That's not, not too bad actually it's not too bad for the oculus go um it will probably stretch the elastic um but it's nice and away from the lenses you don't have to worry about that and it does sit quite usefully like it's it's on there and it's 
it's on there. So, yeah, it is a functional display. I may not use it forever. I may not use it at all. I honestly don't know. But whenever I'm in a space where I need a headset display, I suppose it is functional. But I would not recommend this for anybody looking to display their HMD. It's a prize, prize possession for me, and I know it's probably going to be one for you as well. And the risk of damaging the lenses is just too great, and overly stretching the mount for the uh, the Oculus just it just terrifies me. The thought of losing my Oculus. I mean, I'm I'm hoping that that is going to last me until a new one comes out. So then, when it breaks, I'll actually be happy. But, yeah, I mean, my DK2, that went for a good few years. The facial foam started to peel away a little bit, but a little bit of glue, that would be fine. Or double-sided tape. Um, so, yeah, I do expect the Oculus to one day die on me. I'm just hoping that there's a new one at the time. But, yeah, this headset mount, nah. I, at the end of the day, it's one of those, it's a false economy. You are spending a little bit of money to do a job. If you spend a little bit more, it's just going to be much, much safer for the headset. So, yeah. Don't have a better option at the mo moment in time. There are a couple of options out there. I mean, there's some really great ones by Numskull. The PSVR Deadpool one looks absolutely phenomenal from the uh, pictures that I've seen. But I don't know. Maybe I'll try a Cybust. They look fantastic, but they do look very, very pricey. So we'll have a look. So that is it for the Venom VR stand and organizer. It's available now. You can get it from most good retailers. I got mine from Amazon. All the retailers are available. And until next time, the doctor is out.